Hi everyone and welcome back to my channel at Oso oh Victoria and I sell on Poshmark and Etsy and eBay and I'm going to, this is a continuation of one of my last videos where I told, I showed what I had sold on the first two weeks of November so now I'm getting around to showing what sold on the last two weeks of November okay so let's get started and I will start with on November 16th um, 2019 that's 2019 although it's actually December but anyway I'm uh, trying to get all these what sold videos up slowly um, so this is a R Vivimos boho blue long sleeve um, midi dress and I sold this uh, obviously I already said on November 16th I had bought this at the Goodwill at half off so it was four dollars I bought it uh, on October 21st and I sold it offer to likers for $24 so I made $13.40 on that this I'm going to drop my papers on the floor because they rattle. Okay. Uh, this I sold on eBay. Um, so I sold it for $25. And this was given to me by my son-in-law. So this was free for me. And I sold it on November 18th. Um, so the buyer paid shipping on this and I split the profits minus eBay fees um, uh, profits of eleven dollars and thirty six cents um, so I made oh actually I sold it for fifteen dollars is what I'm showing okay maybe I had it listed for twenty five and I sold them for fifteen that makes sense um, since I had them listed since August, August 15th, I had these listed. These are Madeline Stewart tan velvet ankle booties. And so I let them go for $15. And they were given to me. So my profit on that was $5.68 because I split the profit with my son-in-law. And this next one sold on Etsy in my Cameron D shop. I have three shops on Etsy. Uh, one is I sell vintage accessor clothing accessories jewelry and on Cameron D I sell collectibles and home goods and on Pandora I sell handmade jewelry and handmade home decor so anyway this was on my Cameron D shop and I sold it for $35 and I bought it at the Goodwill store for a dollar seventy nine I just loved it I love African ethnic type goods and so this is a vintage African lady head vase and my profits on that was $24.43 and I sold this on November 19th and I had it listed uh, since July 29th or maybe that's when I bought it eh, maybe I bought it July 29th okay that makes more sense okay and this next one I sold in my art fire shop and my art fire shop is called Penelope Rose. It's where I sell vintage patterns and sewing goods, uh, fabrics. Um, let's see, not all the fabrics are vintage, but by now they probably are vintage because I've had them up for so long. I've had my art fire, my Etsy shops for 10 years. I've had the eBay shop for 10 years too, but I just recently, this past summer started, maybe this beginning of fall, started so um sewing <laughs> selling on it again <laughs> okay yeah i had stopped selling because i thought the fees were way too high and then i didn't do much listing anyway so anyway this is on my art fire shop it is a vintage sewing pattern uh it is simplicity five six nine eight and i sold it for eight dollars and i sold it uh two dollars shipping so it so this is one of my older my older patterns I've had listed probably for the last 10 years and I don't know if it was cut or uncut I don't have that information here it's from 1960s so I sold it for eight dollars and my profit from this was six dollars and forty cents I sold it on 
November 21st and this this one I believe is from my personal collection that I've had um, when I was collecting patterns and sewing an awful lot I was so I used to sew a lot make clothes and this also sold on my art fire shop November 22nd also from my personal collection and it sold for $12 and my profit on this was $9.25 and how I've been pricing the cost of goods is 25 cents per pattern. When I go to the thrift store and I see patterns, uh, now they're selling them for like 99 cents. I, d I don't pick them up. They have to be really nice. A pattern I would specifically be looking for or wanting to buy like a Vogue pattern that's uncut and in factory folded condition. Some of the vintage patterns from the 70s and they've been cut, I'm not going to go bother looking through them and seeing if all the pieces are there. Um, so I don't pick up, I very rarely pick up patterns anymore because they are asking too much for the time it takes to um, open up the pattern, count all the pieces, get them all ironed out sometimes just so they have fold up nice back into the envelope. It's too much time. Um, so a quarter pattern is what I like to go for if the pattern's a quarter. Or and like I said, if it was a nice pattern like a vintage or um, a Vogue pattern that's uncut, still factory folded. And, and then I will pick up because patterns to go buy in the store unless um, they're offering a sale on patterns are, are pretty expensive these days. So anyway, so this was a 1970s hip huggers bell bottom crop top with shorts. A really, really cute style and current today um, from the 70s. This next one I sold on eBay and I picked it up maybe from the Goodwills. I have a question mark on that. So anyway, I sold it uh, November 22nd. I sold it for $20 um, from an offer. So I had it listed for $35 and the buyer offered me $20 and I took it and this one was free shipping. Um, so let's see, the shipping was $5.12 on this and my profit was $10.96 and this is a Coos of course woman's velvet burnout blouse uh, in black and purple long sleeves and perfect for the holidays um, it's very pretty they had a few of these on eBay and that's about the price point for this particular blouse very pretty blouse <laughs> this next item I sold on Poshmark um, these I picked up, I actually have more of these and I've only got around to listing one. I don't know why, I'm just very slow at listing. I have so much other stuff to list and then I don't list and I'm a part-time seller. Yeah, I'm just a part-time seller. And I sold this on November 22nd. Anyway, I bought the, these are ETTU black fleece leggings activewear plus size so all the ones I got were plus size they're new with tags and their and their things so one, some of them were Sophia and some were these ET2U I paid $4.99 for these in October 21st and I sold it for $12 and my profit on that was $4.06 and so I think this particular brand is a wholesale brand you may be able to buy online wholesale and um, so I did kind of price it low um, they're uh, fleece lined uh, light kind of lightweight perfect for wearing under dresses or winter wear or with long tunics and eventually what I had wanted to do because I have these in the black I have them in the brown and I have them in a maroon cranberry type color and what I wanted to do was lot these up and then just sell like two or three at a time obviously for more um, so they, like I said they're a plus size and they go from probably a size large to a 2x will fit into these depending on how much stretch you want to do on the fabric so yeah I should get busy and list the other ones because winter is going to be over before I get around to these bad that's bad okay these next ones uh, Let's see, uh, these were 
These are QC black patent leather shoes with gold heels. Um, really awesome, unique style of shoes. They were in a size 5, so they were a smaller size, and I sold these on Poshmark. Um, what do I have to say about these? Oh, she left me four star review and I gave her a good deal on them. I can't remember how much I originally had them for, but much higher than $25. But anyway, they sold for $25. I made a $10 profit because these came from my son-in-law and we split the the profit difference. So uh, there, it was a $20 earning. He gets 10, I get 10. And these sold, uh, if I didn't say already, November 23rd on Poshmark. I should, should have gave me a five star. They were in perfect shape, so I don't know. Who knows? Uh, the this uh, Eddie Bauer olive green cotton calico tank top and extra large sold on Poshmark on November twenty third. I I picked this up at a yard sale over on the coast. Um, some of the other items I had picked up at the coast yard sale also sold, like that pug little lingerie or was a lingerie nighty set. So cute. Um, so I picked this up for $1.40, and I picked that up in September 21st. Like I said, it sold November 23rd, and it sold for $13, and my profit on this was $10.65. Uh, this next one I also sold on Poshmark. It's a sparkly black velvet knit cocktail dress by Jump, and I sold this on November 23rd. And I do believe the best of my recollection, I got it at the bins, the Goodwill bins in Medford many years ago. <laughs> I can't remember because this I had. I originally had this listed in my Bonanza shop, which I also started 10 years ago. And I think that's around the time I had listed it. It has all these little silvery sparkle um, glitter, like little spots of little glitter, like they're little glued on type of glitter on the knit dress. It was really, it was really cute. Um, but I don't do much with my Bonanza shop. I kind of focused on my vintage Etsy shop as a part-time seller over the years. So, sold it, got it at the bins, which we used to call the salvage, salvage yard, whatever. And I sold it for 16 I made $11 profit. And like I said, this sold on Poshmark. And this next one I sold on eBay on November 26th. I picked this up at the Goodwill for $4, so it was half off on September 8th. And I sold it for $20. Um, I don't know if I had it listed for a little bit more. Uh, it is an orange, it's a Neiman Marcus jewel tone orange cutout. I let linen blouse, so it was linen in pristine condition. Um, almost like it knew, it probably was like new, I don't know, maybe it was worn once, I don't know. Um, but I made $12.09 profit on that. Let me see, did she pay shipping or did I pay shipping? Well, I paid 56 cents in shipping, so because uh, it only cost three dollars and sixty three cents to ship oh no that was probably the fees on the shipping from PayPal eBay whatever hmm. I don't know if I didn't write it down if it was free shipping I may have given up free shipping I like I don't mind giving uh, free shipping to my lighter weight items if I'm gonna make a little bit more on them but so anyway on uh, the next one is uh, another eBay sale on November 26th and this one sold for $30 and I did get this also at the salvage yard many years ago and this was another one that was listed on my Bonanza shop so what I've done is taken some of those items that I've had listed on my Bonanza shop and moved them over to eBay or Poshmark I also had this listed on my Poshmark, Poshmark shop also and Oh, so I did have this in my inventory, so I do know when I bought it. I bought it April 17th, uh, 2010. So, 19 years ago. I mean, I'm 19 years ago. Uh, nine years ago. And I picked it up for 50 cents. So, at that time when I pick up a lot of items at the bins, and then I just divide 
the cost from the bins to the number of items and so this came out to be 50 cents so I don't consider the weight at all I just consider the item itself uh, so I made twenty dollars and sixty cents profit on this one and I don't know about the shipping I'm pretty sure I charged shipping on this one because it was a little bit heavier oh anyway what is it it is a Norm Thompson warm woman's large open front jacket it's a cotton tunic purple I I cat I cat that's the pattern uh, stripes where they kind of have that ethnic type print to it okay and this was on my Etsy also Victoria vintage shop and I picked this item up at the estate sale one of those large hauls I did this last summer I sold it November 27th and I sold it for $54 and it is a vintage 1980s blue and white Robbie B dress set and this one I believe is going to be used in a production a theater production of some sort um, it has those Lego mutton sleeves so popular in the 80s you know with the big shoulder pads although this one didn't have the shoulder pads in it um, so she wanted it by that weekend for the fitting I, I was able to get that to her and then also with on my Etsy shop um, anything over $35 I have put in the free shipping option on that so this was $54 with free shipping I made $37.77 profit on, on it so I it went to Chicago so I guess it must have fit because I haven't heard back and I do returns so I've had something from the Pasadena Playhouse she ordered a um, red blazer from the 80s and, but it didn't fit the actress and so she returned that and I have, I have no problem with returns she actually did what I found really interesting she did um, one of the play productions here at the Shakespeare Theater and costume that and I thought wow that's cool it's like that just that little connection in my small town we'd have this huge tourist uh, for the Shakespeare plays and um, so I, I live in a college town and a theater town so there's a lot to do here uh, so anyway so I think yeah it was free shipping sold for 54 I made $37.77 oh, uh, what I was gonna say is one of the things I do in the description I will write costume or theater so if people you know costume directors designers whatever for plays are looking for a particular style um, vintage is the way to go for that and this next one I sold on Poshmark it was a Vera Bradley black and red floral crossbody handbag and I did notice there were so so many Vera Bradley um, purses for sale on Poshmark on eBay so I surprised it, it sold but of course for $12 it sold for $12 and Vera Bradley is not a cheap purse to buy um, but anyway it did sell for $12 on November 27th and this was also given to me by my son-in-law and so my our profit our profit was nine dollars and we split that so my profit and his was four dollars and fifty cents and the, <coughs> excuse me this last one also sold on Poshmark I really love the print on this one it was a Christopher and Banks linen cotton crop jacket and if you know uh, Christopher Banks they come out with some really interesting patterns on their garments and so this had a gold uh, little shiny effect to it and it just reminded me of snowflakes and I did pick it up at the Goodwill for half off so it was four dollars and it sold November 30th for twenty seven dollars and I made seventeen dollars and sixty cents and so that was the last sale I made in November 2019 so I hope that helped just to know what's selling out there um, and I will put some haul videos but my haul videos will probably be from my own studio I have hundreds thousands 
of vintage and even some newer stuff in my studio so as I pull them out and get them go over them to see if they're sell worthy I will be doing a video on those and let you know what I'm pulling out of my studio <laughs> so and getting ready to sell and then as my kids keep giving me things <laughs> thank bless those little kids so <laughs> they're all grown um, because they they have a good eye for stuff and then my daughter who is that girl she just turned 39 in November anyway she has gained weight and she has tons of clothes that no longer fit her that I think I'm gonna be she's gonna be donating to me and and they're really the cutest clothes for younger younger gals in their 20s and 30s okay so that is it for this haul and I will put up the finished stats at the end well this is the end okay so I'll be adding on the finished stats so you'll know what sold where and the total amount I earned in profit and the total amount in fees and the total cost minus the free goods okay until next time uh, hit the like button if you liked it hit the dislike button because that helps too but I'd rather you hit the like button and so hit the like button and subscribe uh, see what else I come up with because I don't on this channel I don't just do um, sales and resales but you could you could go through them but I do um, little tours of outings and adventures that we do and we'll be going up my husband and I are going up to Portland uh, tomorrow actually which would be December 24th I'm gonna be house sitting for one of my other daughters up there in dog city and I will probably be posting some pictures of her dog and if you want to know what kind of dog it is just stay tuned for that and I'll get those uploaded when I get back and so enjoy your holidays your Christmas and your New Year's and until then till next time subscribe hit the bell and like okay thank you so much bye